All right, guys, today we just got the uh, new patch, the 0.14.0.1 for Escape from Tarkov. Uh, it looks like an, a bunch of amazing fixes. Uh, just to list them, they fixed incorrect ammo penetration and damage calculations in some situations. Uh, this was hectic. Uh, there's multiple games where I was playing, whether it's a scav or a PMC, and I shot somebody up. And they took a full 30 round mag of, let's say, PS 545 ammo, just straight to the armor. And they lived, they turned around and two tapped me, and I died. Uh, so this, this should be interesting. Hopefully it was, uh, you know, fixed and if they were shooting sniper rounds or something like that and somebody was not taking any damage because, let's say, a tier 3 armor plate was absorbing the full thing obviously this needed to be fixed so hopefully and we'll see how it works out but hopefully you know it all pans out and they fixed it and it's it should be working correctly uh they fixed the ability to inspect and modify unexamined armor lying on the ground so particularly if you kill the pmc you know you would have to You'd have to pick up the armor to examine it, and now you you won't have to do that anymore. You should be able to examine it while it's on the ground, and then you can mod it from there. Take out the plates and, you know, run with them. They they removed the display of integrated armor component prices on the trading screen. So just for the flea market, uh, they fixed the incorrect behavior of rogues in defending the water treatment plant buildings on Lighthouse. So this was. You know, I didn't really mind this one too much, uh, but a lot of players were abusing the fact that when you shot a rogue or when you were spotted, uh, essentially as a PMC, all the rogues in the whole uh, water treatment facility would come to you. So if you were in building one on Lighthouse, literally building two and three rogues or any rogues roaming around the water plant, would start walking over to you and then you would just hide in a room and then you would line up their heads and just have you know two tap each of them because they kind of get stunned for a second like they they don't automatically when they walk through a door uh look at you and headshot you but you would have you would have six bodies of rogues there a lot of the time and pmcs would just farm this for gear and as a scav it was really nice for me so that's why i say i don't really complain about it too much because you know, I would benefit from this as well. But the good thing is, though, is now at least the rogues will be spread out. So if they were killed in building one, you know, and looted, at least I might be able to go to building three and kill those rogues as a scav or, you know, loot them there. A lot of the times I'd find I would never find the rogues, but most of the time I would. So that's that's a good fix. I think that fixes the game and makes it so people can't abuse a bug. Uh, another, another thing they did was they reduced the loudness of footsteps on snow. I, I think snow just crunches way too loud in this game, especially with headsets and things. So I think this is an amazing fix, uh, reducing the loudness of footsteps in the snow. You could hear people from a mile away and maybe I would even argue that they left it this loud in the beginning of the wipe for newer players. Like, just to make it so they get used to the the sound of footsteps and things. Because it is super loud. So, I haven't played it yet. I'm about to. And it's going to, you know, hopefully it's going to be a lot, a lot less loud. They, f they uh, fixed the inability to complete some quest conditions. So, I don't know which quests were unable to be completed. Uh, you know... But it looks like they fixed a really good bug because that would really suck. They fixed an issue that caused infinite loading into a raid when playing as a scav in some situations. I literally made a video about this a couple of days ago complaining about the awaiting session start bug. Where like it was one in every two or one in every three games uh, that you played a scav. And you would just be stuck at a waiting session start for infinite amount of time you could have waited five minutes to i've waited i've waited 25 minutes before just like left my computer on an afk uh you know because tarkov has been known in the past to have very long scav raid 
you know, wait times at the beginning of a wipe. You might be waiting to get into daytime reserve for like 20 minutes. So I thought it was like normal. And then after it happened, like every third scav run, I'm like, ah, no, this isn't normal. And so anyways, what happens is you would have to alt F4 if you got the awaiting session start bug. And then you would, uh, you'd open up your game and you'd have to confirm leave and put your scav on cooldown and never get into the raid. So that was happening literally 30 to 50% of the time for people, including myself. It was horrible. So I'm so glad that they fixed that. And it's funny that they fixed it a couple of days after I post a video uh, complaining about it. They uh, fixed visual effects of bloom and sun glare on all locations. So this sounds like when you're, you know, when you go and you're, you're looking at like a sunrise or something like that, uh, that, that sun glare would just hit you in the face and you can't see anything. Um, hopefully this is in regards to the reflections on like metal, like in the water treatment plant, when you have a flashlight on and those reflections like really just blast you in the face. It's like hard to see. So you have to turn your flashlight on or off a lot of times. They, they also uh, interchange color correction is now closer to other locations. Okay, I don't know what that means because there's a lot of other locations that are more like, you know, foresty, whereas interchange is not really. Fix the lack of fog in optical sights in some situations. Ah, uh, so like you would, so normally you would see less fog if you were looking through your scope. Whereas, you know, even if it's a super foggy, rainy, you know, snowy day, but when you zoomed in, you would see a lot less fog. So they fixed that and made it so you will see more fog in the scope. That's good. Makes it more realistic. Fix the inability to pick up some items, including quest items. I've had this issue so many times. Uh, I'm wondering if they, they also made it so... No, they didn't. There's there's a bug where you were it seems like somebody else put an item into a bag and then you can't even when you search that bag it'll search all the stuff but it won't search that one item like it'll still show an item that's unsearched in the bag and you'll click search a bunch of times and it won't work so I don't think that's what this fix is but I have had the issue where I can't pick up an item before so that's good that they're fixing it especially if there's quest items you can't pick up. Uh, they fix the ability to pass through solid obstacles in some situations. Uh, yeah, that could definitely be a big bug if, you know, if you cannot pass through, you know, or you can pass through solid obstacles. So that's good that they fix that. Fix the ability to transfer items displayed in the Hall of Fame for quests. Uh, yeah, I haven't had that issue, but I could see how that could be uh, catastrophic. Uh, fix the airdrop loot appearing is not found in raids. See, I thought that was intended. I thought that the airdrop loot was supposed to be considered not found in raid. This wipe. It has always been in the past. But this wipe, they released it so any loot in the airdrop crates was not considered found in raid. So that's good. They, uh, they put it back to found in raid. They increased the spawn points for scavs on ground zero location. Eh, I mean, I don't know how, uh, I don't know how great that is, but I mean, it's a whatever kind of, I, I mean, cause scavs, I mean, who's scaving on ground zero really? I mean, you should be scaving lighthouse or interchange or reserve or something like that, but I guess you could learn the map on a scav in ground zero. That's what I did when I started when it was a new map. But anyways, guys, that is the patch notes. Uh, for today, with January 24th, uh, yeah, feel free to like and subscribe.